Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 2122nd edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Good evening, traders. My apologies for doing another one of these desktop shoots, but my editors are having difficulty getting here this evening, and I didn't want this to wait too long. So once again, I'll give you a desktop shoot, and hopefully tomorrow evening, I'll be able to hop in front of my camera and give you a normal video. For now, we are looking at a video called, well, we're well, looking at video number 2,122 for trading on Tuesday. That's June 23rd, 2020. This chart is called Trade Gold with Caution on Tuesday. Remember, this is a very risky business. Trading futures, trading options, trading stocks, ETFs, you name it, is not suitable for all traders. You can lose more than you have in your own trading accounts. You can end up in deep trouble if you are trading incorrectly, if you get short, naked short options or short futures. There are many ways to get yourself in big trouble in this game. One of the best ways to not get in trouble is place your stops first before you trade and know the risks behind this game. All right, traders, so gold, daily bar for trading on Tuesday. We had a high, and let's give you an exact date on that high. In fact, we had a high on, well, it doesn't want to show me the date. Oh, there we go. We had a high on the date of 414. April 14th, the high was 1789. Then we had another high put in on May 18th, the high was 1787 and a half, just a point and a half lower than the previous high. As of Monday, we've put in a high so far of 1779. So what I'm telling you is if you're going to trade gold on Tuesday, Wednesday, be careful of the possibility of the reaction here at the possible triple top. Okay, 89 is the highest level. Second one came in at 1787.5. On Tuesday, we put in a high of seven, excuse me, on Monday, we put in a high of 1779. This is for trading on Tuesday. So it could get up there, it could blast right through, or it could have a pullback first because it is what they consider a triple top on Wall Street. So I would trade with caution if you're going to get long gold when it gets up to this area. Make sure that you do something about it until we get through that triple top. So if that's your goal, come join me in my live trading room at livewithoscar.com. No credit cards required, no nonsense. Just fill out a quick form and you can join me in my live trading room. So that's gold for trading on 623. Let's go look at the E-mini S&P. Oh, you know what? Not here. I've got it set up elsewhere where it'll be a little quicker to access it here. E-mini S&P has a neutral Omni for trading on Monday night through Tuesday. Neutral, not a buy, not a sell, a neutral. Well, that tells me I am then free to use the current formation at hand to dictate my trading. The current formation could very easily be another bull flag building. As you can see, it looks like a bull flag, right? This looks like a bull flag to me. This would be your flag pull, these two quick days up. This would be your flag building this sideways consolidation. So I think that's what it is. And if we look at this chart, what we'll note is the bear flag worked, the bull flag worked here, even though this is a fine art, not a science, so it's okay to have a quick blow through. But the bull flag worked, the bear flag worked, the next bull flag that we've seen, that one worked. This bull flag didn't, right? This one right up here didn't work. So no big deal. Nothing's 100%. But we always trade flags when we see them, and that happens to be the next formation we see. So, because we've got a neutral Omni, if anything, I would buy the flag formation, but you've got to watch the extremes. You've got to be careful at the top and bottom of this flag. Watch what you're doing. Come to livewithoscar.com if you don't know what you're doing. Join me in my free live trading room, and we'll discuss how to handle trading the E-mini S&P on Tuesday. You can also look at the NASDAQ. Now, NASDAQ doesn't 
have a neutral omni. It actually has a strong biomni. And at the same time, it's in an Oscarism I like to call the F flag, which is bullish. At the same time, you put this crazy simple average on this chart and watch it how well the NASDAQ has performed around this simple average. Right? You see it held here and here and here and here and down here, which created the flagpole and now we're starting to move higher. Fantastic look to the NASDAQ, if you ask me, for trading futures on June 23rd. Now, let's move out to the weekly and take a look at something else. What else would make this market move higher? Well, first of all, the weekly here looks fantastic, right? There's nothing wrong with the look of this weekly NASDAQ chart. But the market gets powered by FANG stocks, doesn't it, right? Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Facebook, Google. Let's go take a look at FANG and see what we get. We'll start with Amazon. This is Amazon on the weekly. And if you ask me, that looks like a fantastic chart. Let's get rid of this crazy average. There's really no need to look at it again. That looks like a fantastic weekly chart. Look at how it stays inside at almost at all times of this channel. Goes way back, right, to 216, 2016. Stays inside the channel, has now broken above the channel. And if you've seen my Omni average, it just coasts right along the bottom of this. Looks great. So Amazon, one of the FANG stocks, looks good to me. Let's look at another. How about Apple? On a weekly now, kids, this is long-term analysis. Apple on a weekly looks fantastic. And if you've seen the Omni average, it would be hanging right there. It nailed it here. It nailed it here. And away we go. And you can see no trouble getting above the would-be double top on Apple. So Netflix and Apple agree with the upside of the overall market. So Fang so far looking good. Facebook. Nothing bad can be said about Facebook either. I mean, it looks great here, if you ask me. And this looks to be a bull flag building right here. Some form of a flag is building right there. Let's make it a little brighter so you can see it and make it a little smaller so it looks correct. But that, my friends, is a flag building. Bullish flag, weekly Facebook. The third of the FANG stocks. Let's look at Netflix. Nothing wrong with this look. Fantastic look to a weekly chart. Broke out of this massive, massive pennant flag. Apex, if you will, whatever you want to call it. Massive pennant flag breakout. And once again, if you ask me, without stretching the imagination very far, we're looking at a bull flag in Netflix. On the weekly, no less. See that bull flag I just defined for you? That looks real to me. And then, of course, look at Google. Google. Another one of the FANG stocks. On a weekly, there is zero wrong with Google. You know, it bounced off the 200 last time it was down here. That's a beautiful thing. That's what you want to see. Hasn't been down here for quite some time since. This has been going since 2015, this channel bottom of the channel here starts in 2015 maintains the top and bottom of this channel the entire way right whenever it got to the bottom it would start working its way to the top and we'll just define that very quickly so you can see works its way to the top works its way to the bottom tried to get to the top but no dice worked its way to the bottom worked its way to the top worked its way to the bottom Got below it a little, just the way it got above it at the top, and immediately started heading back towards the top. Now, overall, that's a fantastic look to a weekly chart, and the fifth of the FANG stocks looks just as good as all of them. So, I'd have to say, longer term, it looks good. Shorter term, with the neutral Omni, I like the bull flags, and they look good. And I'm here to tell you that you need to buy the dips until something else goes wrong. And then remember to do something that will help you hopefully make better decisions. 
And that is, say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Traders, thank you so much for tuning into my videos. Please subscribe to them, like them across the internet, share them, and leave comments just below this video. I will be sure to answer them. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you for a live video tomorrow evening.